Hey friends, it's Erin. Um, I am back with another video about my lineup. I recently posted one that was kind of a, a mid-year review of the things that I was using. And of course, as soon as I uh, posted that, I started kind of changing everything. I think that's, I think that happens a lot because you start to think about the way you're using things. And as you're talking about it, you know, you kind of, it kind of helps realize, it helps you to realize what is working or what is not working. Please excuse my voice. I have been sick, so it's a little scratchier than normal. Um, but I'm going to get right into this. If you have not seen my previous video called um, Mid-Year Techo Kaiyi uh, Planner and Journal Lineup, I think is what it's called. It, it would be helpful probably to go back and watch that one first. Uh, or just the parts of it that are relevant to you because what I'm going to do right now is basically just show you the things that I've changed and um, talk about how they're different. So it might not make sense if you haven't seen the first one. So let's get right into it. I am going to show you the things that I've changed. I guess I'm going to go in order of like least to most uh, important changes. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else but me, but um, let's, let's call them minor, minor to major. <laughs> minor changes are, um, my standard TNs just kind of got a little, um, mix up. I think in the previous one, I did not have this one yet. I purchased this second hand and it's a, uh, hand stitched leather tee, um, standard. It's beautiful. Um, it's so beautiful and it's pretty new to me and I moved my writing journals into it. So I've already talked about what's in here. Um, it's just my sort of writing like as a hobby. Um, those are in there. So this gets used occasionally. Um, I have used it since the last video and it's inviting in this new um, beautiful notebook. I just, I want to hold it. It's so soft. I love it. So it's helping me to keep that hobby or that practice more regular. So that's good. Um, this one, my brown, um, this is my oldest TN. It is housing two inserts that <laughs> I've changed over time a bit, but um, they started out as my just sort of long form journal and commonplace book. So if you go back to even like, I think earlier 2021, I, I was working in these and then um, I kind of was getting close to finishing one of them. I changed the commonplace book into a regular journal and now I stuck them in here because I am not collaging in my Hobonichi um, much anymore. I mean, as far as I just put stickers and washi in here, I don't really do a lot of um, bigger, thicker paper tip ins, um, gluing stuff in. I don't do that in here anymore. And so if I need to, like if I have stuff that I want to, like, you know, something like this, we went, my husband and I went to an event here. And so, you know, that can get stuck in here. Some happy mail type stuff. It's from uh, Life Love Paper, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I can put anything in here and it's, it's my son. <laughs> um, travel stuff. And, and right now, because it's kind of like this is getting filled up, it's kind of all over the place, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I can just randomly stick stuff in here. Some stuff, some pages are filled and some are not, and I just can go in anywhere and stick stuff in. And it's been fun. It's kind of like, I guess, like a junk journal, um, memory keeper sort of thing, and um, it's working out fine. I mean, it's, it's enjoyable because it's 
already so thick and chunky, I can, I can just stick anything in there. So this um, blue traveler's notebook is, it doesn't look very blue right here, but it is, it's a very dark navy. Um, this one is changed a bit because I ended up taking out the, um, what, this thing. I had one of these things in here. I found that I really wasn't using it and it was just adding bulk and I kind of like the streamline thin feel of this. I'm not really done setting this up. I have this covered. I have two inserts in here, both covered with like um, magazine type pages. These are both from Uppercase Magazine. And um, that's a postcard from Istanbul. <laughs> I, uh, let's see, I've shown you this one. It's my GU from Bam Cohen insert. Let me show you that here. And it's the weekly version. So it looks like this. And um, I have talked about this several times about struggling with it. I am figuring it out. So kind of what I've started to do is just use it as a weekly um, memory roundup sort of thing, highlights, um, kind of gratitude, kind of noticing things, just sort of, you know, whatever comes to mind. Um, and and that's sort of what this is. It, it's not a long form journal. It's more of a, I would call it a noticing. I don't know. Everything I do is like noticing. <laughs> not just straight up memories though, but just, um, I call it my tend journal. And so it's sort of like gratitude, but a little different. Um, but it's a work in progress. It's still something that I'm fig figuring it, figuring out. And <clears throat> excuse me, this is my new, like just straight up journal insert. <laughs> I just started it. I think I got out of practice of long form journaling and I, I don't even know how that happened, but I'm starting to get back into it. And this is not, this is just the beginning, but I'm just, uh, beginning a new insert, it feels like a good time to begin a new, almost a new practice, like a new way of doing that practice of noticing the things that I'm thinking about and feeling and things that I want for the future. I'm a mom to young kids and I'm also like trying to start this trying to get my art business going. It, I mean, I've been an artist for a while. I'm trying to get the business side of things going and I have a tendency to lose sight of myself and all of that. And like, I just keep doing things and I forget to think about the things that I actually want or care about or, um, I don't know, personal things. I hope that makes sense. Um, so those were more along, I guess, personal side. And then now we're getting to more work stuff but but for me because I'm an artist it all goes together it all like it blends and that's part of the reason why I have a hard time keeping them separate I don't even try really to keep them separate because um there are more businessy side uh, businessy things <laughs> to to being an artist like you know I don't know financial stuff and tax stuff and I don't know, stuff. And then there's the personal, more introspective, more thoughtful side of being an artist, the creative side. It's, it's so personal. And so I have struggled with planning. I mean, I love to plan and I, I love to like make plans, write down plans. I have a hard time, um, sticking through with them. It just depends on what it is, but sometimes I, I just doubt myself too much and I get bogged down in the day-to-day -day of the stuff that doesn't even really matter that much and I forget about 
the whys, you know, why am I doing this? And so I changed up my planning. Um, if you saw the last video, then you know I had this like huge um, planner, including a Hobonichi Day Free and a Take a Note planner. I changed that to just the Day Free. I got rid of Take a Note because it just wasn't serving me. And um, this is a really cool craft paper folder I got from Mitt Stationery Selection. Um, it's a, it's from King Jim, I think, yeah. It was in one of the boxes, so, and I'm not sure which one. It might have been like October or November of last year, I'm not sure, but um, this is more or less just a notebook. Um, where I keep goals and plans for things, <laughs> things I'm working on, notes from, you know, classes that I'm taking or things that I need to learn, just lists of things, um, plans for my shop in the future, like all kinds of stuff like that. So it's definitely getting down to like the nitty gritty of getting stuff done. Um, this has changed in that it is more just like a scrap pad, <laughs> like a notepad. Um, every day is different. So like on this day, I just wrote a list of things I needed to do. Um, this was just yesterday and the day before. I just, I don't know, I just had some things that I needed to get done. I was, I don't know, watching YouTube, writing notes. It's really just, I mean, I've been sick. Those are some of the books that I had <laughs> next to me. Um, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. Like this page was more of kind of a memory sort of thing. Um, it's, it's almost like, um, it's just as the day goes on, I just jot stuff down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, every day is different. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes it looks cute. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, I always put in some sort of sticky stickers or washi or stamping or whatever. And it's fine. It just sort of comes together. It's uh, very low pressure. And I don't. I mean, obviously, I spent more time on it these days. <laughs> um, lots of marker there. It, it's not trying to be anything. It's just a space where every day I have this, this much space to fill in. And anything that I need to fill it in with can go there, you know? And that's it. So this is kind of, it, it's definitely business and personal, it, um, it's just whatever is on my mind <laughs> goes on here. Um, so it can, it can be anything. Okay. So this journal is, um, what I call my goals and dreams journal. It's, it is a place where I can kind of work out the stuff that I put in here, or maybe it's before I put it in here or after it's a different way of thinking about it. This is like lists and plans and like lay it out. Like, what do I need to do? And this is like, um, dreaming and scheming and working out problems in more of a long-term way. So let me show you something that I can show you. Um, okay. I can show you this. This is, um, I'm working on building up my portfolio. These are some ideas. Uh, for how I want to make my portfolio. Um, it'll be like a digital version and maybe a print version as well. So it's a kind of a bigger project that I'll be working on for a little bit. And so <laughs> this is the way that I work in here. It is, it is art. Like I am trying to make it special because I want to be, I want to want to be in here. It's not just a notebook. It's like a place where I'm, I'm sort of creating my own world. And, um, that's what I want to do with my art. So this is the way that I work in here. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, 
I just try to make everything beautiful in here so that um, it gives me the feeling of the way that I want people to feel when they look at my art, I guess. Um, so this, I don't, I don't use every day. It's like as needed sort of thing. And so when I watched, I watched a video Kaylee Gray made pretty recently about her planning system and I'll link it below, but she has a system that, um, this dual sort of heart storming and planning. Um, I don't know what she calls that, but like the more planning side. So I would say this is like heart storming sort of thing and planning, but um, I mean, obviously it's a little different than what she does, but I am incorporating, incorporating some of the things that she talked about. I'm trying to do, like, I'm starting to use digital stuff like Notion. I'm always a work in progress, but this is where I'm at now. I hope that was helpful in some way. Um, if you have any questions, please, please leave them below. And, um, thank you for being here. I'll see you around. Bye.